guys, it's Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with a really fun build because today is the day before Easter so I wanted to create a little Easter fair. This is kind of inspired by like little Christmas fairs that I'd been to in the past but also because uh, I thought it would be a little bit more relatable than what I used to do uh, around Easter time. I thought this would be a lot more fun and have a lot of little activities for your sims to do. Uh, you can bring the adults and they can get some drinks and you can bring the kids and they can play around and there's lots of places to get some food as well. I thought about adding a wedding arch, but you know, I didn't. <laughs> but we uh, sized up this bunny wood statue in the middle to be the centerpiece and there ends up being a like nice fountain around him as well, which I thought was really fun. But we end up with, let's see, one, two, four different places. There's a bar, there's a little knickknack shop, there's a buff, not a buffet. <laughs> what it's called a bakery and then there's like a burger joint uh there's also one food truck which is like a tea place and there's the admission booth in the front as well as bathrooms so it has pretty much everything you can want lots of seating area to eat uh the food you pick up i think i added a plate yeah i did i added some monkey bars for the kids and uh overall it just looks like a really fun place to go for your sims for easter time or just springtime in general so i wanted to go ahead and put this out if anyone wants to use it tomorrow for easter uh, i know i really want to use it and i will be doing so for sure because this looks like so much fun but uh, this is a really fun build actually uh, I was like struggling. I was like, I want to do an Easter build of some sort uh, for a while. And then I came up with this and I was like, yes, yes. And I got really excited about it. And uh, it was kind of fun, like making all the little rooms. I really liked making the like little ticket booth in the front, which we're working on now. It just ends up having like a little desk and some posters and stuff in it and just adding all these little rooms and like making a bunch of tiny little houses. And I don't know, it was just a blast to do. So that's what this is. But um, so when I was a kid, we didn't have something like this and I don't know if anyone relates to this or if this just sounds like really creepy and sketchy is all a uh, heck. But when I was a kid, uh, my family would bring me and my sister to, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it, what to call this building, but it was for like all of the holidays. We'd go for Easter, we'd go for Halloween, we'd go for Christmas. Um, and the outside was just kind of like metal <laughs> and it was like a really it was like a medium size like I don't know you'd probably drive it by it and not think anything of it probably think it's some kind of factory or office building or whatever but like there's no signage on it at all and it had like a wooden tall staircase up to the top level and when you would go inside um there'd be decorations for whatever holiday and you would just like walk around and it felt like it was a maze like it wasn't like a built maze for this purpose it was just like the building was kind of just like that you're just like walking down lots of hallways and they're decorated and uh for whatever holiday so it was really fun uh although halloween was a little scary sometimes as a kid but we went for all of the holidays and it was part of our tradition and when you got to the end uh for christmas there was Santa, you'd sit on his lap, get your picture taken, and he'd give you a candy cane. You know, pretty standard. Uh, you'd do the, like, same thing for Easter. You'd sit on the Easter Bunny's lap, which is kind of strange, and he'd give you, like, a chocolate egg or something when you left. And for Halloween, there was usually, um, like, somebody dressed up, like, as a skeleton or, I don't know, just some kind of costume and the same kind of deal. But uh, we used to go there for Easter every year. And, like, I, I was like, well, maybe I could build that, but I feel like it'd be weird and not relatable, and, <laughs> but let me know, like, has anyone else had that experience? Like, I'm, I'm very curious. Uh, did you see, sit on the Easter Bunny's lap as a kid in a weird factory <laughs> maze thing? Uh, or is that just me? Is that just a weird, creepy thing <laughs> that I did as a kid? I don't know. But, um, so I decided to make this instead. Uh, I made sure to include like a little kitchen area for your uh, sims to be able to make their uh, cupcakes and whatever they're going to sell in here. Because uh, I think I I think I think saved this as a retail lot. It's on the Sims 4 gallery if you want it, but I think it's a retail lot. I might have saved it as a restaurant. I'm not sure which, but you can interchange them because it could be either. Whichever one works better for you. Um... But, uh, like I said, if you want to go ahead and play with this, you can download this off the Sims 4 gallery by searching my origin ID, which is Griffey, or you could also search the hashtag Miss Griffey. I think I also put some hashtags for, like, Easter and fair and things like that. So, uh, if you want to see what everyone else has done that has similar themes, you can go ahead and do that as well. But, yeah. 
<laughs> what do you guys do for Easter or the spring holidays? Like, do you guys have any special traditions? I know this year, um, I'll be going over my grandma's house. We normally go over my aunt's house, but this year, uh, she won't be home because she's gonna go visit her daughter, so it's gonna be different this year than normal, but... I'm excited about it. <laughs> my grandma has a thing. Well, I mean, we always go over my grandma's for breakfast anyway, but we go over my aunt's usually for dinner, but my grandma has this problem with every single holiday. Uh, there'll be like maybe 10 people that come over and she buys enough candy for like 50. So, um, there's always an, a surplus of chocolates and, uh, that's probably my favorite part. <laughs> oh, also there's always lots of, uh, hard boiled eggs, which I really like. Uh, we actually do that for Christmas as well. I don't know if anyone else does that. I know how you dye eggs for Easter. We dye eggs for Christmas too. <laughs> it's just a thing and I, it's thrown people off the first time they come into one of our family get-togethers and they're like, what? Why are there dyed eggs for Christmas? And I'm like, because it's tradition. Um, but I don't know. I just thought that was cool. Uh, but anyway, back to the build. We are adding in some fountains uh, below the statue. I thought the statue was really cool. And I'm glad uh, it kind of inspired the idea a little bit because I, I was like, oh, wait, there's this bunny statue. Oh, I could blow this up and it could be the statue in the middle of like uh, like a park or a fair. Um, and I don't know. I would love to go to an Easter fair. I don't know if they have. Do Easter fairs exist? <laughs> because if they do, that would be cool. Uh, I don't know if they do. And if they do, I'm going to feel kind of proud that I came up with this without knowing that they existed. But, you know, they might not. Uh, but it sounds like kind of a fun, like a spring little fair. I mean, I guess it could be kind of like a food truck fair, this sort of thing. It just has like an Easter pastel -y springtime feel to it, which I, I suppose those probably exist, but I didn't try to make these look like they were like trucks or anything. I just wanted them to be cute little houses. And, you know, we're trying to make it look a little bit more realistic here by adding some dirt around. Uh, and we end up doing that again later. Some of it disappeared. I always have that issue. And I don't really know why that happens, but that's okay. I'm making sure to add in some pretty pink trees throughout the place because I love these pink trees that came uh, with Willow Creek. Well, I mean, they came with the base game, but I just automatically associate them with Willow Creek. I try to only use them in Willow Creek because <laughs> they fit in there and, I don't know, they're just really pretty. And I remember when the Sims 4 base game was coming out, that like, I was really excited about them. And, oh my god, that little Easter gnome. Oh, I found so many cute, like, Easter things to put around that I didn't realize were in the game. And just like springtime fun. Uh, we ended up adding a lot of these little Easter eggs back there, which I knew were in the game. They were from an Easter event last year. I don't know if we're going to get one this year or not. Uh, so if we, this was filmed <laughs> like before uh, April even started. So for me, it's March 31st right now. But for you guys, it should be April 15th. So there might be like new objects out or like new Easter themed stuff. That's not included in this pack, but in this build. But you can go ahead and add that if you'd like to download this. Uh, but this is one of my last pre-recorded videos. Today and tomorrow should be the last ones. Uh, so I will be back with fresh new content very soon. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me through all of this. But anyway, we are trying to change this to like a bunch of different colors, but we ended up just sticking with the pink in the end. I've had so much pink in my channel lately, but it's been fun. Uh, I'm excited to get a little bit away from it though sometime soon. I'm hoping to finally get around to building that bowling alley and some kind of mid-century modern home. I have so many different ideas up my sleeve and I can't wait to get back into The Sims because even though right now I feel like that's all I've been doing, getting all this pre-recording done because... For me, it's the end of uh, March, and this is one of the last things I'm recording. Uh, by the time this goes up, I I bet I'm going to be like, I miss The Sims. I need to get back. <laughs> and so hopefully everything will be okay by then, and I'll, I'll be hopping right back into this. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard updates from me on Twitter by this point anyway, but <laughs> I don't know. I like... It's just so weird thinking that, like, when you guys see this, it'll be the day before Easter. Like, I can't even think that far ahead currently. But, you know, I'm I'm hoping for a very fun Easter. I'm very excited about it. We are adding some pretty um, paintings up there. I don't know. The bar area ended up being a little bit empty. We added some, like, kegs under the table, which I thought looked pretty nice. And, you know, oh, I just can't get over all the little Easter cute things that we placed in that little shop. Oh, I'd love to go here and, like, buy some of that stuff. Too bad it, hmm, I, like, some of the stuff I'd like to buy in real life. Can I have that, like, Easter Bunny gnome in real life? Because that would be chilling outside my apartment door right now. 
Uh, it's a little early, but uh, I, I definitely have that. I really like that. We added a little martini lamp in there. I've never used that lamp because I think it's so corny, but I felt like for like a fair that had uh, a bar, it, it seemed just corny enough for that. <laughs> and here we're just doing the little ticketing booth. Like I said, it ends up just being like a little desk and we paint the walls and add some like bookshelves and like a filing cabinet in the corner over there. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> and of course, another Easter gnome that easter bunny gnome is so cute i just want it so bad it's so adorable and uh we should be grabbing a chalkboard soon yeah that one i figured that might have like the prices or whatever on it and like some of the lists of the things that are inside like the different shops or whatever so when you're standing there to buy a ticket uh they can catch you out on the um what's it called <laughs> the computer or it, i guess it's sort of, might be sort of like a register you like they look you up and then uh, you can see what's to offer. You can look at the prices and then you go in the gate and you're at the Easter fair. And I don't know. I just really like this idea. I like things that are a little bit out of the norm lately. It's been fun to do something other than just a family home. Uh, by this point, you will have seen I've done a couple of interesting things. I did a couple of collab videos that were really fun. I also did that design studio room build, which I had a blast doing. Like, I want to do more stuff like that. So if you guys have any suggestions on more builds you'd like to see, I have a list already going, but uh, I'm looking forward to doing some more stuff. And uh, like I said, we should be getting to the point where I will be making uh, more content. That <laughs> there won't be any more pre-recording stuff after this. Uh, after tomorrow's video and so uh any suggestions you guys have i'd love to take those into effect but yeah we're doing some more landscaping trying to make a path around this area i was very iffy about the path i think it's okay um but for a while i was like i don't want it but i feel like we need it and <laughs> i don't know let me know what you guys think of course you can always change that if you go ahead and download this lot i think this is it's a very small lot it's like a 20 by 30 because i didn't think it needed that much space i didn't want really big shops i didn't want like i wanted to be like really cute and little and so that's what we ended up doing with it and just making sure that everything reaches all these little doors and i don't know what else we add what did we not do yet did we is there something we missed did we just like not decorate everything or did we take forever working on this landscaping not quite sure Mm. oh we're just switching some stuff around oh I'm, I'm remembering so we have to like decorate the interior of some of these places and fix some stuff up a little bit uh had a lot of fun oh i kept the inside of that white i think oh and in here i like tried really hard to make this flower print happen it, it, it did i did not make fetch happen it just didn't work uh <laughs> i got rid of it i think i ended up like having like a pastel green in there which was kind of interesting and fun but uh you know, I, I tried. <laughs> I really wanted the flower print to work, but I thought it was a little too kid-like, and so I got rid of it. Uh, oh, did we add that vintage glamour paper in there? Oh my goodness. I think we did. I like that. That's cool. And I made sure to add a lot of these light-up trees around uh, the property. Ever since I started adding those in that breezy park build that I did over a couple of live streams, like, I've just been wanting to add those trees everywhere because I forgot. Like, I didn't know they existed before I did that build. And now I just constantly want to use them because they're so pretty. So I had to include them everywhere. Uh, and we're adding, like, a... It's like a parking meter out front, but I assumed it could be sort of like a ticketing booth or whatever. And here are these uh, little kegs. They pop through the top of the table a little bit, so I put fruit bowls over the top to cover that because I figured there'd be fruit to, like, garnish drinks and stuff. Uh, I thought that would be a good idea. And we had this, like, nice little plant uh, shelf unit that I thought was really nice. And, oh, my God, this flower thing. And I put the menu in the middle, and I just really liked that. I thought it worked really well. It was very pretty and a good place to showcase what you can buy, uh, what you can get there. I assumed it's probably just like a burger joint there. That's why I put the little burger decal. And I think we're about to give up. Yeah, we gave up on the flower print and we put some green in there. And I think that turned out pretty good in the end. But I think now we're just finishing up adding a little bit of detail, some more landscapey stuff, fixing up the dirt all around, making sure that everything is nice and realistic before we head into screenshots. Uh, did I change the roofs? Mm, thinking about it now oh, okay i guess i that was one of the last minute things i did but uh anyway this house was a this isn't a house this lot was a whole lot of fun to build i hope you guys enjoy it once again if you want to download it you can go onto the sims 4 gallery and you can search my origin id which is griffy or the hashtag miss griffy to go ahead and download this for yourself i think it's on a 20 by 30 lot it's not the most affordable thing but it's not a house so it doesn't need to be starter home price 
Uh, but this is going to be a perfect little place to take your family or adult sims or kid sims or whoever you want to celebrate the spring holidays and have like a really fun little time. Anyway, I think that's all I have for you today. The screenshots are coming. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody. Bye.